How's it going, everybody? It's me, Shane. I'm here to give you another Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba Hashira Training Arc episode review. And today's episode is episode three, entitled Fully Recovered Tanjiro Joins the Hashira Training. That's a mouthful, but before we go even further, I need you to join me. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of more reviews like this one. And if you want to support me even further, go ahead. The link to my Patreon is in there. Support me however you want to. I appreciate it all the same. So, we saw last week where we got over some emotional trauma with my boy, Gio, Giyu Tamioka. This time, my, 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 my main man, Tanjiro, is going right into the training. And the first stop on the training, <clears throat> pardon me, is with... Tengen Uzui. He is the retired Hashira. Remember from the Entertain District, which many call the best of the arcs so far? I it's hard to refute that. It's between for me, I really enjoyed Swordsmith Village Arc. Like between that and Swordsmith Village Arc, I can't really decide which one is better. But boy oh boy, that entertainment district arc was freaking fantastic, right? So He's here. Remember, he 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 lost an eye. He lost an arm, and he st dude still has not lost a step here. This is a good episode here. That's full full and filled. Using proper grammar here with hope. Uh, uh Uzui's training everybody. Tanjiro's there, right? And Tanjiro's killing it. Um, let me preface this by saying. <clears throat> Every demon slayer is built. At least we we've only seen seen male demon slayers here. We do know that there are female demon slayers, right? And I'm just going to assume that though they're they're jacked too. I mean, Mitsuri, she is super super duper strong, but she still has like that dainty build which you don't get that a lot. And actually I'm like pfft, go off on a small tangent here. I've seen a lot of dweebs weebs get mad and call the creator of Demon Slayer, a coward saying, oh, how come she isn't built like a muscle mommy? Look, guys, look, I understand in 2024, women being muscular and built, that's actually very acceptable. Uh, it's fairly attractive at times. And it's, uh, I don't want to call it a trope in anime, but, you know, it's kind of a trope in anime. Um, but it's nice to have some diversity, right? You have uh, Mitsuri, who looks dainty but is freaking strong and then you have oh god i haven't watched i haven't watched fire force but i've seen literally manga panels i've seen screenshots there's the one main girl whose whole thing is like revealing a lot of clothing and it's 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 a it's a, a, a shout down at people who talk about lewd stuff it's it's i can't remember her name but then you have her and then you got biscuit kruger from hunter hunter whose true form is like pow just straight up jacked and ready to go right so chill out all right so i'm going to assume that the female demon hunters probably got some muscle on them too because all these dudes run around here just freaking ripped and i thought it was just a no skate um tanjiro is easily running up the mountains running down the mountains like when he's done he's up here just doing the up downs doing the uh you ever played the original final fantasy 7 with the uh with the squats and everything he's doing all that type of shit hell when it came to the pairings where you have to carry a person and run he's carrying the biggest guy he is being a leader through and through um and let me see uh he's i said he's leading them right in the nighttime episode nighttime episode nighttime training that uzi uzi sets up for them basically saying hey you're gonna be fighting them at night so you need to know how to adapt to f to seeing them at night you need to know how to function at night and so he tells them yeah focus on defending from getting hit and taken out by me tondro your job is to protect as many as possible only possible with with that there i feel like i'm missing something else but I'm, i've broken it down in my notes here right um the others even asked tanjiro you know what's it like to fight an upper rank demon and just like <laughs> just like first episode tanjiro is just like well you know my body went bang and then it was katin katow and at one point there was no oxygen in my brain but i katun katang katang and they're like 
never mind, never mind. This dude is, is this guy even human, right? Um, Tengen is obviously super happy to see him. Like they're so happy to see one another, and Tengen's like, "Yeah, I heard you fought another upper rank demon, and you still have all your limbs." Now, I feel like when they dub that, it's gonna gonna sound like a sick burn against himself because you know he did make he made it out with one arm and one eye and then you got a you got ring goku who you know looked like a donut so yeah he's very impressed he's like he can tell that tanjiro has gotten stronger and we'll we'll go further into how he can tell but he can tell first look but he can tell also when they get into some action later um and Tanjiro, you know, said he's happy to see him too. And he's like, you know, he taps to his his eye patch that has his little jewels on it. And you can see, I don't know if this was on purpose. I hope it was. But even if it wasn't, I like that Tanjiro's eyes got a little bit teary. Because you're looking at a guy who gave his all to protect everybody there that was fighting and to protect others and do his job as Hashira. And it's like, he paid the price. So just him, you know, being nonchalant and being flamboyant about the 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 eyepiece, the eye patch, it, it looked like it made Tanjiro a little bit teary eyed, right? Um, where am I at here? Now you want to talk about wounds though, because all of them are working out with their shirts off until you get to the nighttime episode, nighttime episode, nighttime training. Tanjiro has tons of scars on his body, dude. Like, holy shit. It's, it's, I was about to say it's Kenshiro up in here, but no, it is. I can't think, I can't think of an anime character that has tons of deep scars on him. Eh, I can think of Dragon Ball Super Broly has big ass X scar on his chest. Dude is scarred up. And that is literally a result of having, fighting the caliber of enemy that he has. Now, Given that it's been heavily hinted that Tanjiro is a descendant, probably of the first Demon Slayers. I mean, we're paying attention to hair color, eye color, uh, Hirafuda, is it Hirafuda? Hirafuda earrings, right? Paying attention to all that stuff and the flashes forward and backwards. <clears throat> it's obviously come from a lineage. But then you have people like Inosuke, who just seems like a normal guy, right? Seems like, well, normal. But you have people like Inosuke, Zenitsu... Uh, the other, mm, <clears throat> I would say the other Hashira, but it's very, but Tengen Uzi comes from a long line of ninjas, right? But you have the normals who just seem like these are just kids, especially Tokito, right? Our Miss Hashira. These are folks that kind of had humble beginnings, somehow got roped into being Demon Slayers because of circumstance or because they wanted to. Masuru literally had a loving family, but she became strong so i want to say this is just me i want to say tough battles and constantly improving upon yourself is how tanjiro and the hashira level people and hashira adjacent people like his friends have gotten stronger you know i, I it's interesting that there may be this lineage behind tanjiro but I fear that it might muddy the fact that hey man, this this guy's actually worked really damn hard. Remember the whole breathing? Was that was that season two? No, season two is technically Mugen Train. Uh, when he was getting healed from the Mugen Train incident, to having to learn how to control your breathing even while you're sleeping, which is just I love the fantastical of this world. Um, but to get back to the episode, uh, the three wives. Not even gonna pretend like I remember anybody named outside of Ha uh, Hinamitsu, which is the purple one, the one that they were really trying to f not no no the redhead, the one in red they were trying to find. But I'm gonna call him red wife, blue wife, purple wife. They all thank Tanjiro, like you know we're thankful for you for saving us. They gave him some special be uh, Gyokuro tea that helps with exhaustion, and he said no, it was a group effort, and they actually obliged him. Say you know what you're right. If it wasn't for you, uh, Tengen Sama. Your sister, Inosuke, and Zenitsu, if they were one person short, none of them would have made it out of there. And that's freaking true. Because you had to do 2v1 on the other two demons. That's... I, I, I do like... I don't, I don't want to call this closing a chapter. But I do like seeing that since these people live, you have a bit of a... 
I don't want to say you're closing a chapter, but you get some follow up, right? You're getting to follow up with, hey, these people all went through a shared traumatic incident. It's kind of like the Resident Evil effect. If you don't, if you don't know about that, look it, look it up. If I actually did video games on here, I would break that down even more. But it's kind of like, I'll break it down a little bit. Like the raccoon, anybody who survived Raccoon City, you know, your Leons, your Chris's, your Jill's, your uh, Claire's, anybody that survived that, they seem to be able to survive the toughest things. And that's kind of what's come out of the whole entertainment district. It's like you survived that. You all have a shared experience of near death. Uh, team effort and the, the wives get a little bit sad right because they can tell Tengen is kind of upset that he took himself out you know he retired as a Hanshirok because they can tell he also wants to fight Blue Wife she is like you know I hear him at night talking in his sleep and what's crazy because I'm just going I'm going to have to skip ahead out of some a lot of my notes here Dude is still badass. If this was any other anime, if they did not have to fight literal vampires, because that's it's called Demon Slayer, but let's be real, these are freaking vampires, right? If he didn't have to fight freaking vampires, I feel like he would still be doing the damn thing. Part of me actually wonders how come he just doesn't like adapt. You are literally the, the sound Hashira. You may have one eye, but you're like Daredevil who can see. Shout out to Matt Murdock. So... I don't know. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. But the wives also talk about how Tengen isn't actually mean because we do see him, you know, hitting them with the with the kendo stick, poking them in the abs. And there's one dude in particular with the dark circles, like poking them in the abs. One he holds back and says, you got to run with more vigor. And he's just holding him one arm. And the kid is doing like a Looney Tune startup run before he lets him go to continue running. He tells him, hey, if you don't finish eating, those who don't finish eating, you're going to get triple the training and they flat out tell Tanjiro like he he's actually a sweetheart when they all had to run around the mountain and come back he personally went up to the mountain to get the straggler and make sure they make it they made it back um his point and he tells them flat out the point of this train is to get you to, to hone the basics into you to get your body at peak condition before he moved to us because he said uh you're not gonna be able to, to handle mitsuru or tokito's uh training if you can't get through this well i think he said tokito's but if they can't handle that they can't handle this they cannot move any further and he flat out tells them you know at the end when they're doing that nighttime training i'm not doing this to discourage you i'm doing this to prepare you because one guy goes oh man this is a former hashira we can't beat him when the moonlight hits him after he's taken out a couple of them and he like freaking flash steps behind him and whispers in his ear he's like you gonna say that when the demon's in front of you ah yeah it's, it's nine times out of ten ting and they kind of do that remember the first time we were um what was it the spider force with the lower the first lower rank well it wasn't the first lower rank demon. first lower rank demon was the drum one the i'm talking about the spider one when we found when we first got hinokami kagura right some of them when they saw those those super strong ass demons were like ah what are we gonna do that, that you know it's it's i don't want to call it the grunt mentality but it happens right and it's crazy to think right everyone who's in the core had to survive that mountain challenge where you know they have a mountain where they seal it off there's demons in there that they've captured and thrown in go ahead and see if you can live if you can live then you're in the core right or if you have the situation with Giyu and Sabito you live you go forward those people made it through through the whole night so it's like you get past that and then there's still more hurdles to go and I say hopeful because all of them throughout all of this say, you know what, we know we can't, you know, fight the fight the upper rank demons and fight uh, Muzen and Kitsubushi, but we believe in the Hashiras and we believe in Komodo-san. Kamado, sorry, Kamado-san. We believe in Tanjiro. And it's enough, their words are enough to make Tanjiro and Uzui smile because it's like, yo... They know that they're probably not going to get to that level and they're not going to beat themselves up about it. 
even Tengen says they're going to find their own way to support, which makes sense. It's 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 like Naruto uh, Shippuden with the Great Ninja War, right? All those dudes ain't main characters, but hey, if you can get all of them to just rally and say, "Hey, we're gonna get through this," then you really you really will get through this. Now let's talk about that. Let's uh, <clears throat> before we talk about that fight, um, Tengen going back and getting the guy right. Tanjiro also thinks when he. He says, all right, I got to go. Got to do my run. He thinks, yeah, all the Hashiras are actually deep down kind hearted because he thinks back to Giyu when he did that soba eating contest. And Giyu's easily eating this stuff. And Tanjiro's like, I don't know if I can keep going, but if I don't, I'm going to disappoint the master. And so Giyu goes, he orders another one. Giyu goes, one more for him, one more for me. This is my last portion. I am not eating any more past this. So if you eat that one more, you know, you you said if you win, I join the training. And I guess what? If I win, I don't have to, right? He'd already made up in his mind that he was going to join. And Tanjiro had already pieced together. He's like, yeah, he can eat even more. He's doing this to be kind because I'm, you know, I'm a man bound by my word. And we get that little cute cut in with Tanjiro face face first on the table and give you just sipping the tea because it seems like these people with super stamina can knock back tons of food tons of calories and we do see that the Hashiras are nice it is unfortunate that it's not unfortunate it's funny how it's set up to be like yeah we don't trust this demon girl being around because she's just gonna kill everybody and I'm like oh you're a jerk Red. oh you fiery lion head dude you're a jerk too Rest in, rest in pepperonis. Oh, you suck too. Oh man, you're actually pretty nice. So, mm, yeah, that's a great introduction right there. Uh, quick, quick thing before this battle, we do see two guys going on patrol because apparently, if you do night patrol, you don't have to do morning training. And we see one mess with the other go act like he was taken by a demon because the demons are gone. They're speculating. Oh, yeah. Apparently they want a Nesco. But, you know, demons aren't really showing up a lot. And we see a giant eyeball. Well, not a giant eyeball. But we see an eyeball that says four on it. And it's walking on its own and it follows them. So I was hoping we would get a peaceful arc here until we get to the big stuff. But I guess that won't happen. So Tengen versus... Tanjiro was so damn good. Mind you, Kendo Stick versus uh, Boken, which is wooden katana, really damn good. While they're fighting, Ting is going, yeah, no, he's he's gotten stronger. The others are like, wow, this is the level of a form of Hashira, and this is how strong Tanjiro is, who has fought multiple upper upper ranked demons. Even their clash is enough to blow everybody back. And Tanjiro does start being able to keep up with the nope, you can't hit him, can't hit him. And he gets them all to rally together. But, you know, he's like, come on, guys, I didn't I wasn't trying to beat you all up, which you still end up doing, which is funny. But yeah, dude's a damn ninja. Any other anime, any other anime, he would probably still be doing it. But this is I hate to say realistic. I hate to use that word when we're talking about things of fantasy, but it is feasible and somewhat realistic to go. Yeah, no. In the heat of the moment with adrenaline, I was able to do all this, but I'm missing an eye. I'm missing an arm. I got three wives here. I need to have some babies. I'll support you guys, but I can't go out on the field. I really feel like if someone would just made him a mechanical arm that turned into like a boomerang kunai or something like that, or a boomerang uh, ninja star, that would that would solve everything, honestly. Uh, and then we get to see Wen Hashira and Snake Hashira. I'm sorry if I don't remember their names. I just I don't remember their names. But they're meeting up talking about they can't f- stop thinking about the castle, the Infinity Castle. And they even have uh, investigated the last place the Infinity Castle was. And yeah, there's no more demons around there. So they really are preparing to go for Nesco. And uh, Serpent Hashira, who was mid series b- bow. He's saying, you know, doing all the training and stuff is keeping my mind off it. But when I get time to analyze it, honestly, it does feel like the uh, the calm before the storm. His hand kind of trembles a bit. And they both agree 
to fight one another. This is how they're going to get their training in. And honestly, it, it makes a ton of sense. I mean, you're going to have your strongest versus your strongest. It's got a clash. And from the opener, we can tell that when Hashiro is going to fight Giyu, they probably do need to hash it out through blades anyway. Um, Little side notes. I forgot how freaking huge Tengen is. He is... So... Tanjiro is about the same height as the wives, which would make sense because, you know, he is 15, 16 years old. They are like, you know, early 20s, 19. So here's Tanjiro, here's the wives, here's Tengen. So when he just stands by him, I'm just thinking to myself, how how big are you, dude? Tall as shit. That's what he and he was. Don't forget, he was also beefy as hell. So... I'm guessing that when you, the height charts, it goes Stone Hashira, you know, Mr. Blind Man, and then him. They're fighting for whoever's the tallest. And then Tengen has the nerve to say, uh, Muichiro and Stone Guy are naturally super strong and they're stronger than him. I'm like, I don't know about that, man. It, it seems like most of you guys are actually super strong. Also, how come they didn't fill in the Hashira spots? I know that is this like we I don't know if it's going to be explained later. And I know uh, when Hashira's brother, Ginyu, see, if you had a regular name, I would be able to remember your name. Ginyu was saying, you know, oh, if you defeat an upper rank demon by yourself, you get in there. And I'm saying to myself, it's hard as hell to fight a lower rank demon. So would you just instantly get it there has to be some type of process i know when uh water master not even gonna try to say his name left giyu kind of filled that void is there a process i mean rengoku's dad was gone and rengoku filled that void so how come you know you have two you're two down how come you just didn't put you know Tan little baby tanjiro here as the sun hashira and you put i don't know I don't know who else there is, and I'm still waiting to see the others. We see the others in the in the the opener with the training video, right? With them training on a mountain, but that didn't happen yet. So, where they at? But towards the end, we do see Tanjiro. He told Tanjiro to move forward. The others are gonna keep training, and when Tanjiro moves forward, he's at Tokido's spot. He's fighting the last trainee that is still standing. And he breaks he breaks his sword and says, come on now, you would have died three times already because he did him three times. So I'm looking forward to seeing a clash between uh, Tokito and Tanjiro. That's going to be fun. I think I think our last that the next episode is called It Makes You Smile. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the Taisho Secret. Of course, the Taisho Secret is going to be about Uzui, Tengen Uzui. So... Tanjiro already tells us something we already know. He's retired. Uh, he's a retired Hashira. But then Tengen goes in and says, if you're going to say something like that, you got to say it flamboyantly. Like, introduce me with a lot of flair. Like, uh, his, you know, his, uh, not his hobby. T Tanjiro tells us that his hobby is, is finding hidden hot springs. And it's believed that he found one and that's where he soaked in order to heal. And he's like, well, no, you got to say, say it like, you know, uh, I soaked there where he soaked there with his lovely three wives and, you know, he loves them more than anything. Well, actually, he says, I love because I love them more than anyone else in the world, which was very sweet. But Tanjiro was like, ah, oh, I get it now. I understand. And the three, you know, the girls come in, they're all swooning and they're loving on their hubby and he loving on his wives. And Tanjiro plainly says, what a lovely family. And so, you know, next time is episode four. Um very nice depiction of a uh, poly, of a poly uh, family. Not really a throuple. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's just poly. It's a poly family. Very, very nice instant. <sighs> nice seeing them all support one another. Just kind of sucks that he is gone. So you're not going to see that anymore. This is like, it's like Tenchi Muyo. But no, but less comedy. That's the best way I can explain it. So... I am interested in knowing, well, not interested in knowing, I'm interested in seeing next week. Double Sundays instead of double Saturdays. That's actually a new one for me in the realm of my anime reviews. So let me know what you think of the episode. I'm giving this one a 4.5 out of 5. It wasn't like, oh my god. 
But I will admit that little skirmish between Tengen and Tanjiro was nice. Putting a nice little, you know, book bookend on, or not even a bookend, just the follow up with things that happen in entertaining district arc that was nice the little clash was nice seeing that the other slayers are not jealous at all they know they probably can't reach this level but they're still going to support them regardless of all that that's nice I i'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that eyeball thing and since we're learning about each hashira that means we let me see we've already done two and there were, there's technically seven of them. There was nine. So we've done two. We're not going to get a Rengoku one. So there's like, what, six left? Eight? Yeah, so there's like six left. So can't wait to see that next time. Thank you all for taking some time out to listen to me talk about Demon Slayer. One of my favorite anime. Look, don't forget, hit that like button. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. And click it to always on so you get notified of more reviews just like this one. Please. Be good, be blessed. Wash those hands. Drink some water. All right. Be safe out there. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Either way it goes, don't be a jerk. Make sure, make sure, make sure you reach out to someone, especially if you're feeling down and out. And you know what? Reach out to somebody else. Some people really do appreciate it. Either way, all right. The people out there that would rather talk to you today than to miss you and mourn you tomorrow. Reach out to someone. I promise you won't regret it. My social medias are in the description below, right underneath that Patreon link. Give me a follow. Send me a message. Say hi. And I guarantee you I will reply back. Just give me a little bit of time. The messages are weird on these on these uh, social media apps now. But as long as you're not a jerk, I'll get back to you. So until next time, guys, my Tai Show secret is I'm going to see you again. <laughs>